Hello, fellow hair loss people. This is my six month post-op few hair transplant review. Um, looking in today, uh, we're gonna do kind of the, let's see, foot out is right there. Looking at the foot out, it looks pretty good. I do wanna make mention that I did have a haircut this past weekend. This is not the normal barber that I go to. This was someone else. Um, and I do not think that she did a great job cutting my hair. And I want to preface that uh, before I really get into detail with my hair, because I think that she cut my weak side, my traditional weak side, a little too short. But let's take a look. So going in uh, to my hair transplant, looking at the right side, you can see right here along, let's call it the first half um, of my right side is just incredible density. I mean, it's it's really, really strong. As you get back into kind of the second half, it's still coming in quite a bit, but I would still say it looks very, very good. Really not noticeable until you get to kind of this back area right here. Um, I think that she trimmed up a little bit too much right here. That's the area where my native hair blends into my transplanted hair. Um, I wish she didn't cut it so short. It happened, it will grow back. That is the lucky part about hair. Um, looking at my other side, as you guys know, this is my weaker side, um, and I do think that she cut a little bit too much off of it, particularly, oh, it's a little tough to see, there you go. Um, this area right in here, I just think that she cut my hair a little bit too short. She really didn't blend it well with my native hair. That is my fault. I should not have gone to a barber that was not experienced with transplanted hair. I will not do it again. I was in a rush, I was out of town, and I did have a big uh, job presentation this morning. So I wanted to get a hair transplant or a haircut done prior to that to uh, make sure that I was kind of looking my best for the presentation. So uh, looking in again at my left hand side, you can see that the density um, is still coming in. When you look at these areas right here, it's a C right there and actually right next to it as well. You can see there's a couple of hairs that are just starting to come through the scalp. And what that means is it should mean a lot more density in the coming months. Uh, the left side has been crazy itchy. Um, itchiness typically is a sign of the hairs uh, from the follicle actually coming up through the scalp. I do expect to see a lot of those hairs start to emerge on the left-hand side. It has been a, a painfully slow process for my left-hand side, especially seeing where my right side, um, how well that's been doing. But I do believe that in the next two months, it's going to get all caught up um, and, and look much better. I do want to mention too, I did have my six-month consult with Fucapular. Um, they did mention that their prices went up a little bit. Um, I think Dr. Gurnow uh, is about 2,750 uh, pounds, or not pounds, euros, for, um, for a hair transplant for the standard operation. And then I don't know how much it went up to per graft um, if you do that option. It was 125 before. I'm, I'm not sure if it went up or not. Um, hopefully, I'll find that out and, and let you guys know before the next, um, before the next video that I put out. But foot out, looking pretty good especially that right side, left side is definitely getting there. I want to give you kind of the top down look. This is how it looks straight from above. Um, really good density in my, my mid scalp, my native hair um, looks very good. I'm very happy with it. I do think that the topical finasteride and minoxidil that I take, I do think that it has helped kind of um, strengthen my, my native hair that I have. And then let's take a look at my crown. Um, crown is looking very good. One thing I want to talk about too is when I had a hair transplant, Dr. Gerr basically said, hey, you know, we've got 4,000 grafts that we can do for your first hair transplant. Um, that's what he felt comfortable doing, especially in one session, which in retrospect was phenomenal advice. The less grafts you do, I guess, the higher success rate you have because of how much, you know, trauma it, it puts on the head. Um, so 4,000 grafts was, was great. Um, I did use the bulk of those grafts in my hairline because that's what was important to me. Um, I asked for the bulk of the grafts. So I got 2,500 done right along my hairline. Um, and then I only got 1,500 done on my crown. Uh, initially, when we did our consult, uh, it was going to be 2,000, 2,000 so that it was balanced. But really, the priority for me was my hairline. So with that being said, I am absolutely floored by how well my my crown has turned out especially this early on for those of you who don't know crown hair transplants typically take a lot longer to heal than hairline transplants to be honest i'm not entirely sure why um it's just what happens so considering i'm only six months post-op and these are the results that i'm seeing on my crown i am just absolutely thrilled with, with how it's turned out 
for anyone looking for a hair transplant. It took me kind of a very long time to, to research, to look into it, to consider it, to consider the pros and cons going to Turkey. I was nervous. I'm, I'm from the United States. I was nervous about traveling out of the country to get anything medically done. You know, life is short. And if you want good hair, that's the way to do it is go get a hair transplant. So obviously consult a doctor and, and consult, uh, you know, your, your clinic that you want to go to. But now is as good a time as any to get a hair transplant. I, I wish that I had gotten it done earlier. It's completely changed my life. I feel so much more confident about myself. Um, and I'm happy that I was able to get my hair loss under control so that this hair transplant will hopefully last a, a very long time. Um, one other thing I do want to talk about is I did recently purchase a derma roller. Um, I'll do a separate video on this a little bit more in depth, but for those of you who've been following my routine, I use, um, I take a multivitamin every morning. I take a biotin supplement every morning, and then I use a topical fin and min mixture that I make myself. I did add this in after watching a fair amount of videos from Hairliciously and, and other channels as well. Um, I realized that this would probably give me even better results than what I already have. So I decided to get by one, take the plunge and start using it. Um, I do plan on using it at least twice a week um, in combination with my routine that I already have. So I'll do a separate video on how to use it um, and the product that I specifically bought. Um, but yeah, I'll do that uh, coming up in the future. So if you guys have any questions at all, make sure to comment down below. Make sure to like and subscribe for all my future videos. Thanks, guys.